Oh yeah, this is definitely going to do it. Come on, there we go. Oh my god. Can't get you out of my How's it going everybody, Drake S here and welcome back to some more of the best besieged creations. So it's Saturday and that means I'm one day late on this video and I apologize for that but it turns out that Besiege didn't want to work for me. It actually still kind of isn't working and neither is this design. Great, I just broke it. Okay, so yeah, this has the old way of steering, the way that nobody uses anymore with the hinges. Um, so it's very hard to turn without breaking it. But yes, my Besiege is in fact still broken. I can only use Steam Workshop items, so today is going to be all about the Steam Workshop. So that sh actually should be fun. I did that once before, and it turned out pretty well. So this time, I got a bunch of new Steege Workshop creations, and we're going to check them out today. Starting off with, we have an armored car, if you haven't already figured that out, but... This has a little bit of a secret in it. Don't get me wrong, you can see there's a lot of firepower here, but you truly don't notice the amount of firepower this thing has until they start popping out of here. There's things everywhere in this. I think there's something like 30 different cannons in this. Hell, there's even cannons coming out of the back. So let's go shoot some things. Okay, I'm gonna try and do a peasant drive-by here. There we go. <laughs> Am I gonna hit anything? Oh my god, they went so slow, yet I still killed one. Yes! Oh my god, my wheel came off again. This thing is awful when it comes to turning. You'd think something as well-designed as this would use a real turning mechanism, but no. It decided to use the hinges, which, as you can see, doesn't freaking work. Okay, I quickly put tank controls on this because I couldn't stand the turning any longer. And holy crap, is it a lot better now. You can see it actually turns, and this is why tank controls are a good thing, guys. Uh, you can easily turn things. Okay, let's give these guys some lead. So the top turret, you can actually rotate, of course. It is on a little rotating platform. Um, that's a simple one, two, three. The rest of them, they're all so confusing that I can't do it, guys. Like, I've seriously tried. So we're just gonna open up everything and try and ignite everything, hopefully. Oh my god, it's not. It, seriously, the way this thing is set up, it utilizes both the numpad and the number keys on an ordinary keyboard. Oh my god, that one just shot. Well, <laughs> it was off the thing. And the way he set it up is just so damn confusing, I can't figure it out. Well, well, let's see if my butt cannons can do some damage. It did. Good. Okay, and we uh, and the only thing we have left is a little flamethrower. So come here, guys. I didn't do very good with my cannons, but hopefully I can flamethrower you. There you go. Just walk into it. There. Good. Good job. Yes. Great. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so the flamethrower is something that I prefer because clearly I can't use cannons. Okay, this next design is actually a wall climber. Now, we've seen these... Well, I actually did one of them very early into my Besiege videos, and I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with this thing, and I haven't really seen many since, so it's really nice to see another one coming out. And this one is a hell of a lot bigger. It does have a little bit of a hard time getting up, as you can see. Oh, holy shit, I just broke my propeller. Where am I going? No, I want to stay up here. Okay, so I did break my propeller, so it's safe to assume... Oh, shit, okay, um, I'm going to screw up here. Well, let's try and go back down, I guess, or just don't kill myself. Okay, we're killing ourselves. Okay, well, I may have lost most of my stuff, but it still works, damn it. Oh, God, get up quick. Get up! Why are you not- Oh, fuck, it's fucked. <laughs> I wonder what happens when I hit this grav pad. Will I just slowly float up and then- Oh, maybe I could land that. Ooh, it actually- Well, I don't think it's holding up because of this one little propeller. So safe to assume when we- Yeah, we're gonna fall over. There we go, okay. Oh god, here comes the boulders. Oh, oh, don't fall, please don't fall. Oh, 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 we're, okay, we're okay, I think. Now I just gotta get back on. God damn, why is this, why is my camera all screwed up today? Okay, let's just get back on here. I'm trying to turn it, but I'm going to break the wheel if I do that. Uh, we had to avoid those balls. I just want to get up there for whatever reason. Let's see, oh, fuck, that thing just annihilated me. Okay, this time I'm just gonna let the balls go. I'm just gonna stop, kind of. And oh, 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 can I crawl over it? Just push it out. Oh, God, get away from me. I got I got a ball stuck here. Okay, let's throw it off the ledge if I can. Come on, please just throw it. Uh. Okay, this ball is just freaking annoying. It doesn't want to go off the ledge. Like, look it. Look at this. All right, we're just going to ride it all the way up. There we go. And drop it down here. Perfect. Oh, shit. 
Okay, now this is going to be the true test because there's a hole here. I don't have much space to do this. Oh, actually, it's going to do it just fine, I think. There we go. Oh, come on. We did it. We made it up. I've actually never been up here with, like, a ground design, so I didn't know <laughs> you could even really make it up here. But yes, we destroyed the statue. Now, I just want to see if it can fall over and not kill itself. So let's go really slow. Oh, wow, it actually works amazingly well, and it even has a broken prop propeller right now. Uh, so yeah, I feel like a true spider. This is great. And I'm flying. Oh, 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 okay. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> okay, next up we got... An actual rocket with a platform. Uh, I haven't actually seen one with any platforms or anything, so this looks pretty damn intriguing. It does need zero G, but it uses the new um, steam boosters to go up here. So, so hopefully we can uh, get this all the way up to the top. Now, if you actually go high enough, it does start to freeze your machines, which is pretty damn interesting. And look at this water hit! Holy crap! This thing moved really quickly. I guess it's because there's fans in there. I didn't even notice that. So yeah, as always though, don't get me wrong, this thing's beautiful, but because it's so big, uh, you need to run it at a very slow speed, so we can't really do much But besides look at how pretty it is. Um, it's actually, oh, it looks like it's powered by fans and steam. Interesting. It also has wheel turning mechanisms in here. You can kind of control it while it's in the air. Uh, it's just very slow, and it's hard to tell where the front is. There's also, uh, oh, <laughs> okay, that was the wrong button. I, uh, I hit the self-destruct button, but don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with a self-destruct destruct button. That is freaking amazing. Okay, and here we have the so-called perfect plane. This is actually the most popular item on the Besiege Steam Workshop right now. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I like planes. This one is does work remarkably well. Let's see if I can hit this statue. <laughs> I just took it out. That was great. And I do like a plane that can actually control well. Oh my god, I just crashed <laughs> landed into the peasants. Holy fuck, I blew up everything. That couldn't have went better. I took out the statue, turned around, and killed all the peasants as well. Okay, I feel it's only fair we now go for the knights. Um, this is actually gonna- Oh, this is hard to control. Oh yeah, we're going down. <laughs> I didn't even fucking break it, really? Oh my god, that was embarrassing. I killed like two guys, that's it. Honestly though, the fact that I can even aim this thing, I think you guys know by now how bad I am with aircrafts in Besiege. Uh, that kind of shows it's actually pretty damn good at controlling. You only use the arrow keys and the shift button for power. And uh, yeah, really easy to drive. Let's see if I can land it. Nope, can't land it, unfortunately. I, I probably can. Let, let, let me try again here. Okay, coming in for landing. I don't know where I'm going to come in for landing. Right here. There we go. Bam! Oh my god, I have landed a plane in Besiege. I'm actually really excited for that. Uh, don't get me wrong, most of you can probably do that, but I am pleasantly surprised at how good this thing is to control. And it does look very nice as well. It does look a lot like a plane. It's actually got some suspension things here. I wonder why they do that. Oh, I guess that's for the actual tail rudder. I didn't even know. I didn't even know there was one. I wasn't even using it. Um, but yeah, we got the tail rudder um, and everything. It works just like a plane. It uh, work, works really well. Now, now this is a, another design that's been really popular on the uh, Steam Workshop. It is actually called a stunt board. You can do different things. You can do barrel rolls and whatnot. It's essentially a skateboard in Besiege. Um, very simple design, but uh, still pretty damn unique. I haven't seen anything like it. And if you do like doing different stunts, I'm sure you can get really good with this thing and uh, do them relatively well. As for me, though, I, th I think I'll just stick to uh, playing this game very poorly. Uh, this thing is a little loopy, as you can see. Okay, it wouldn't be another episode of Besiege without another core tank. This one, <laughs> I don't even know what it is. They're getting more and more crazy every time. I mean, look at this thing. It is freaking loopy, though. Typical to most core designs. Extremely quick, uh, fast, nimble. Let's see if I can flip this thing. Okay, back up and forward. Oh, no problem at all. God damn it, we missed it, though. Uh, let's try and flip it again. Flip it over. <laughs> Yes, this is great. I, there's something about Kors tanks that make them so much better than any other tank. They're very hard to destroy, as I, you can see though I did destroy that one. Um, and they're just so fun to use. But yeah, this one's just got some simple flamethrowers on the front, nothing too crazy. Uh, but that's the way I like it. I, I li like when Core focuses on the tank tracks more than anything, because this thing doesn't need weapons. It's a weapon all in itself. It's a badass tank. I've never actually tried this, but I feel like it could definitely happen with one of Core's tanks, because it's fast enough. 
I actually turned it around because it's easier to control being backwards. And I'm going to see if I can run through this whole castle. I feel like it can be done. Oh, we almost got it. Okay, come on. Let's try it again here. Oh, yeah. This is definitely going to do it. Come on. There we go. Oh, my God. I love it. This thing is just so freaking awesome. And the destruction of these new maps really make for an enjoyable tank. So here we go with another of Kors tanks. This one is a mech tank. We did see one of her earlier versions of the mech tanks, but this one actually works a hell of a lot better. This is actually version 3. Now, I might be too high right now. Yeah, probably. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, there's a point when you go too high, and I clearly went there. Let me see if I can set this up again. Okay, slower, slower. Come on, there you go. That's looking a little better, I think. Yep, there we go. So yeah, it's a very simple design. It's something like a transformer meets a tank, and it's, um, don't get me wrong, it's a little finicky, as you can see. Uh, is she actually suggests that you just keep it like this. It works a hell of a lot better, or it works the best this way, but if you do feel inclined to go up a little bit, you can. You don't want to go too high, though, or then it starts to screw up. This is probably the highest you want to go, because it's getting hard to control. Let me see if I can break it again, because it never gets old. Okay, this one's a little too slow to do that, unfortunately. But you can totally turn it into its mech form and then kind of use its cannons here. We got, uh, we can go all the way around with it. And, of course, you can go up and down with it as well. Uh, it's a little bit of a finicky design, I'll be honest, compared to other core tanks. But it does do rather well. Uh, I definitely like it. And because they never get old, we got another blade bomb here. I'm just going to do a nice and slow, simple blade bomb. I'm sure we've seen ones very similar to this. But... I love it! I love just watching destruction in this game, and bo blade bombs, or any type of bombs, are the best way to do that. I mean, <laughs> look at this! It is slowly deteriorating this whole freaking castle. Okay, let's speed up time here and watch the actual destruction. There we go. If you ever wanted to get rid of a castle, that's how you do it. But yeah, guys, this is where we're going to end it off for this episode. I know it's a bit of a shorter one, but as I stated before, I only have access to the Steam Workshop, and there's only so much there. What the hell just crash-landed that late? That was hilarious. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for your support. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, this is a quick message thanking you for watching my video. I hope it gave you literally minutes of enjoyment. I have playlists and videos like this one at the top right of your screen. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or support me on Patreon, the links are in the description of this video. Thanks once again for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.